RBGFM, locals talking to locals. Now, most of you have, well, not most, a lot of people may have heard about the book Kiwi Speak, um, but it's put out by um, a lad called Justin Brown. He's a bit more than a lad now, but he once upon a time went to Kapiti College. He's living in Auckland at the moment. We've got him on the telephone line just to tell us a bit about this book Kiwi Speak. Good morning, Justin. Hey, Nigel. How are you, mate? I'm good. Yeah, that's the way to start it off, isn't it? How are you, mate? That's sort of the way we go, isn't it, with Absolutely. Kiwi Speak? Yeah. I, I, was, I was thinking last night, that word, mate, did it come into our vocab a little later because it was an Aussie sort of adaptation or not? Um, our lingo, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a, a, a bit of a, a hangover from the British, and then we've stolen a bit from the Aussies, and then we've stolen a bit from the Americans, and we kind of, we're, we're magpies, really, but look at shiny objects and just sort of steal it, I think. <laughs> I think so, too. Um, but, you know, a lot of this um, this stuff in Kiwi Speak came from my childhood, living in Raumati South and, gra- and going to Kapiti College. Yes. Um, traveling the world and it's only really when you travel the world and you think man we actually do speak very differently to the rest of the world we do and I do a fair bit of traveling and I tell you what uh, the Americans and the Canadians love the lingo that we have I don't know what it is it seems just to attract them if you you don't think about it you're just talking next thing you've got a gathering around you I know. Well, I, I, went, I did a student exchange to Canada when I was 17, straight from Ramadi South to Toronto. And, yeah, you have, you have instant friends because they just think you're a bit of a clown. Yeah. So what, what are you saying? <laughs> they, just, they have no idea. Yeah, yeah. If you throw out a couple of words like flip and heck, they say, well, what do you mean? <laughs> you know? I don't know. I haven't got a book, so I don't know what words you've got in your book. Uh, you might just like to elucidate us on what's in that book there. Uh, yeah, sure. Just, so... Well, Kiwi Speak sort of came out uh, uh, 10 years ago, and this is a new version of Kiwi Speak because uh, the, the language and our lingo in New Zealand has really changed over the last 10 years, and we have a whole lot of new heroes like Taika Waititi, you know, the, the director of uh, Hunt for the Wilder People yes. movie. We've got Lords, we've got Flight of the Concords, and all sorts of things that have made us... Also, the internet has really introduced a whole lot of stuff via YouTube. I don't know if you know if the, the, the skater um, who says Nick Minute he says, I, I left my scooter outside the, the dairy, Nick Minute. And Nick Minute has become one of these crazy sayings that a lot of Kiwis are saying. And so this is really like a love letter to my parents, uh, this book, because I've got a, a chapter called Dad Speak and a chapter called Mum Speak, or the crazy things Mum used to say. My nana's in Whanganui, all the crazy things they used to say. And also Skucks Speak, and Skucks is one of those words which is... Um, kind of new to our lingo, S-K-U-X-X, and it just means really awesome or really cool. It's like, oh, Nige, you, you, you're looking really skucks today, bro. Is that right? I hadn't heard that one before. And talking about skucks, uh, my, I had a brother-in-law always said shucks. Is that in your book at all? Oh, S-H- yeah, no, it's not. But yeah, that's true. I mean, there's all, there's all sorts of ones in there for, um, you know, uh, for Nana it might be, uh, oh, it's a bit nippy around the pippies today. Yeah. Nippy around the pippies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going for a whiz, I'll be back in a jiffy, or rattly dags. There's a whole chapter on farm speak. There's all hat and no horse. And uh, a te- TV speak too. There's a whole lot of old ads in there that when you read them, you'll think, oh, yeah. Who stole the tally? Who stole the tally? Warris is very depressed. Yes. All these sort of stuff that we used to listen to as kids. It's crazy. Yeah, even that television show Gliding On had some of these Kiwi Ana in it as well, which was fantastic. But another one that, uh, of course, influenced a lot in latter years was um, our Fred Dagg. He was fantastic, wasn't he? Fred Dagg. You know, kick it in the guts, Fred. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, my favourite one of his is when he used to get on stage and he, he only said one word and it was like, story. Yeah, that's right. Story. Yeah. And, but I've, I've dedicated this book actually to Murray Ball and Fred, uh, sorry, John Clark because they shaped the country with their, with their words and ideas. And when they died, I was, like a lot of Kiwis, I was just gutted. They, they really had such a strong voice in New Zealand and they gave us a voice. Yes. That's right, and I remember saying overseas on one of the trips, uh, Justin, whack-a-doodler, and people sort of stopped and thought, well, is he swearing at us or what? But a -a (laughs) whack-a-doodler, you know, is a real great thing. So nobody knew what I was talking about. I had to explain it, but a -a whack-a-doodler. It's also street speak. The stuff that people are saying on the streets now, like uh, primo, crash hot, too mickey. Too mickey just means, you you know, very good or very cool. Choice, cheer. Uh, what's the haps? And then there's also um, place names like Wellywood, you know, instead yes. of um, Hollywood now with Peter Jackson's influence yep. in Wellington. And Helen Grad, which is one of my favourites, when, when Helen was uh, Prime Minister and, and the Beehive became known as Helen Grad. Yes. 
Oh, no, it's fantastic. Now, this book is um, written for New Zealanders, or do you... Th- oh, that's another good one. We've got Simon, uh, our new uh, national uh, leader. He's a great Kiwiana boy, isn't he? New yes, Zealand. and I've had a lot of comments about, oh, is this written for Simon Bridges? And I'm like, <laughs> Sorry. Not quite, no. but he <laughs> might have influenced it. It's, it's basically the greatest hits of Kiwi lingo. Yes. And I, I, it is written by four and a half million people. It's not written by me. I'm an eavesdropper, so I just listen to what people are saying and and try to put it into some sort of form and put some jokes with it. So it's one of those books that Kiwis read. Um, I've also given it to a whole lot of people overseas because <laughs> I did give it to a Colombian girl the other day. She's a friend of mine, and she said, I just bought your book. I don't understand a word of it. And I'm like, well, that's okay. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, she'll learn. Yeah, yeah totally. take it back home with her. So yeah, you've put out a good number of books, though. I mean, what gets you into the mood for writing books uh, such as these with Kiwiana in it? Um, well, I started off writing travel books around India and uh, the States and the UK, and then I got into writing rugby speak, and rugby speak uh, came about because I kind of felt useless when I was at rugby games because I never really knew what to yell out. Oh, like with you know this um, you know kick it don't pass it or whatever but I, I talked to my mates and said God there must be so many things he should yell at at a rugby game and so I put rugby speak out and that was followed by cricket speak and then Kiwi speak came soon after so the yeah. the hopefully funny books that you can read anywhere and get, uh, a lot of my m- people have, have just given me great compliments about they just they just crack up laughing they just read it for half an hour and they'll find something good in there to, to pass on. How many pages in it, uh, Justin? Uh, about two, it's in front of me here, about 200, I think. Oh, right, so you've got a fair bit of reading to do and you'll be well educated at the end of it. Yeah, you will, hopefully. Yeah, <laughs> you'll be, be able to take these words with you when you go overseas. Yeah, I mean, right. one of the ones that I, I hear a lot now is a goober. You're a real goober. Oh, you're such a goober. Well, that also goes with um, you're an egg. Oh, yeah. you're such an egg. Yeah, that's or right. you're such a spoon. And even though this isn't the, the latest movies... Um, Kiwi movies, Egg and Spoon and Goober, they've been around for years. Yeah. It's just one of those things that, you know, I suppose the kids are developing words as they go along too, so you might have to write another one for teenagers. Yeah, that's true. It's funny you say that. I thought teenage speak would be hilarious. Yeah. I've got, I've got two teenage daughters, so that would be pretty easy. It's pretty hard to understand them too sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm scared to ask my grandkids what they mean it uh, on occasions, but I will do. I think I'll have to write them down. Just ask them and just yeah. start saying it and you'll sound really cool. You yeah. sound really scucks. Yeah, that's right, scucks. Oh, my goodness. Another one, as I say, flipping heck. But my father used to use one on the farm, real dag, you know, right. which uh, was going way, way back in the, in the 40s and 50s. So, um, well, yeah, but on that, though, the interesting thing is that because the, of the internet and YouTube, we can now collect these sayings so much easier. But let's just say my nan is in Whanganui all those years ago. It had to take someone to write it down and then pass it to their son or daughter and then pass it on again. Yeah. But if you lose the piece of paper, you've lost the saying, whereas now it seems to be with the internet. We can we can grab hold of these things and, and it's just so much easier to sort of retain a piece of history. It is indeed. Justin, I know you're a bit busy today, so thank you very much for your valuable time. These books are available at Paper Plush, I should imagine, and Coastlands Mall at the moment. Yeah, every good bookstore. You can also get it online. Just go to just search Kiwi Speak. Yep. And, um, or go to my website, justinbrownbooks.com, and flick me an email. Good. So it's worldwide, is it, Justin? Yeah, you, can, you can get it anywhere. Well, that's, that's what the internet now. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm thinking, you know, you're selling the book worldwide. Yeah. Yeah, good yeah. good stuff. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you very much for your valuable time this morning, and if you get another book out that we might be interested in, you let us know. Sure, bro. Good on you. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> there we are, Justin uh, Brown, and that book is called Kiwi Speak. 106.3 BGFM.